Now for those of you who haven't been out on a pelagic before, I thought I'd put together a very quick video to give you a bit of a sample on what to expect if you go out on one. This particular trip took place off of Eagle Hawk Net, which is on the southeast corner of Tasmania. As we motored out, there was a fishing boat that already started to attract some birds. So it wasn't long before we stopped and started chumming. Now chumming is where we throw pieces of fish and offal and sometimes mixed with a bit of tuna oil and that sort of thing, shark liver oil. And that starts to attract the birds closer to our boat. Now naturally these birds feed on a variety of marine life. The albatross principally feed on squid and they do this at night when the squid come close to the surface. So depending on when you've gone out and what phase the moon's been in, they might have already had a big feed of squid and won't be quite as hungry when we're there. Now depending on where you are, you're going to see different species. On this particular trip, the most common were the shy type and the black browed. But we also saw bullers, antipodean and a few other albatross. But we also saw a number of petrels, shearwaters, prions and other seabirds. And here we see a northern giant petrel that's attracted quite close to the boat. One thing to note as well is it can get really rough when you're out on the water. And obviously your skipper will be well aware of what the weather's doing. But if you suffer from motion sickness, take your tablets well in advance. And obviously there's plenty of photographic opportunities out there. But it can get really rough. And the rougher it is, the harder it is to get some decent pictures. Because most of your subjects are going to be in flight, I recommend using your camera on burst mode as much as you can. Also, try not to take too long a lens. Although the long lens can be handy for birds that are flying and sometimes quite far away from the boat, the long lens can get very heavy during the course of the day. A 70 to 200 or 70 to 300 lens is the most versatile when out on a boat and it's light enough that you can use it all day with good results.